Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today's video we're going to talk about our new homeschool strategy or routine, I guess. Things have changed a lot since our last video. Sarah has become, I want to say advanced. She has really uh, wanted to do more. She's more hungry for more work. So doing those workbooks that we were doing and her listening to the animals that she already knows about was becoming a little bit boring to her so now we are almost done with the workbooks I'll go show you in a second the workbooks I'm talking about not well it's not workbooks it's the books that have the um, had they have the paperwork in them that you just whip out so this is what we're doing now these are the books that we got from the dollar store and she really loves the workbook style she really loves opening up a book doing it page by page doing um these beautiful coloring these beautiful color pictures and counting she really loves to count she's really interested in counting and her shapes she already knows all her letters so this is just the um fun busy work learning her in this is another with uh this is from the number book this is just something that we're on we're already in like past our week that we needed to be on for the month of February and so she already did this in like five minutes she already finished and she already wrote down her her number nines they're not perfect but she is just turning four and she's hungry for doing this she loves writing and this is just what she really likes to do so I'm going to let her do them this is the book we got for four to six year old for numbers one through ten we got that from the dollar store and we got the play school from the dollar store to the basic skills this is learning the shapes and we do one shape a day and one number a day and then when we're done we'll move on to another book that we have from the dollar store so what shape are we learning today we did hearts yesterday what shape is that Oval. Oval. All right, and it says practice drawing your ovals by tracing the dashed lines. All these dashed lines, and be very nice and neat. Go slow. Go slow, so it's so it looks just like the dashed lines. Yes, that's perfect. And then when you're done doing that, draw a smaller oval inside. And like I said, it's not perfect, but she loves doing the workbooks. We also are going to get back to doing the staff and rod workbooks that we have. Um, we stopped doing them because uh, she was getting frustrated and it was a lot of work at one point because I had to hover over her the whole time. That was maybe nine months ago, maybe 10 months ago. But now I think now that she is getting hungry for these workbooks, I think these are gonna be really good. So this will be the first day where I bring out the Staff and Rod book again. There you go, you're doing good. Stay nice and neat. Do one dash line at a time. And after this, she's gonna do those two work pages. And I'll show you guys the books that we are taking those from. Not going by the week schedule, but just, just doing them for the fun. And these are the books I was talking about with the curriculum in them and we're supposed to be in like week 20 or something like that week 22 or something and we have already finished the three-year-old's child art for threes with um, the amber lamb on the cover we've already finished this whole one this whole book so Sarah was really uh, desiring to uh, do more uh, of the art for that that was week 40 that was in the it went all the way to week 40 so we finished that up i think that was the last one and and she did all this in uh, uh three days she did all this work and this was uh maybe two weeks worth and she did all these in three days and she wanted more and more so now we're just we're just doing these as we go. We're not even going by the weeks anymore. See how it says weeks here? 32. And this was a pretty thick one. This one has a lot of work in it. So that's going to last a little bit longer than the child art for threes. And so we're just going through this as we go. And we are touching on the letters still because she, she does know all of her letters. And we're working on the sounds. So we still touch on these once a week. But I don't do this every day or every other day. I just touch on it once a week. And I do leave it up in her playroom. 
right there I just hang it up so something colorful and something for us to point out I do still do the amber lamb story but I don't go by the schedule anymore the lesson plan I just pull one out just pull one out randomly and we read about it Annie aunt the hard worker and sometimes she likes to read the same one all week and she doesn't um, she gets stuck on one and she likes to read it over and over and over so that's what we do we really don't do the language development visuals anymore she just gets really bored by it we went through this last year when she was turning two to three last year and she gets really bored with these so we really don't do the language development visuals anymore so we're going to save those for hannah and we'll be using those probably next year for her so yeah, and we're still doing Bible time and the but and definitely the Bible memories. And I have a special place for that. The Bible memory cards. I bought this from the dollar store and I put numbers down. This is what like card 10 is. Card 10. And I stand here and I get the cards out one at a time. And Sarah sits here and we we do the Bible memory verse. It doesn't take us but maybe a couple minutes and we work on it every day and these are the ones that she's memorized she memorized Genesis and John so that's what we have and and the reason why these are blank three six and nine because they said those are for like four and five year olds so we didn't do those and also I think I touched on it in another video we did recently with the phonics her learning how to read with the handbook the um, reading handbook that we got from Rebecca we are still doing that we do that first that's the first thing we do after we do our Bible story we do that and we uh, we just do the alphabet part we are still in the nouns and learning her consonant sounds and I like to review that every day she's not I don't think she's ready for the blending she just knows all of her letter sounds and and what the letters look like where she's not ready for the blending just yet and I'm showing her how to know to go from left to right so we're learning that one next and it's just basically I'm just trying to teach her left hand right hand and going from here to here whenever we read a uh, like a storybook from the library or something that's what we do and right now that's our homeschool routine it's real simple but it's mainly the workbooks that she loves so I'll keep you guys updated and I'll put in an, out another video about our plans for next year and the curriculum we're gonna get for her four to five year old and I hope to see you guys later have a good day and goodbye tell them what we got we got this indoor outdoor fencing and then these little play mats and supposedly you can leave this outside and you can leave the play mats outside and it's okay if they get wet so yeah. we don't have to bring it in every time we go outside and she really needed to be outside <laughs> i think she and, likes it and she can't walk yet and i don't want